Good morning, good morning. I just wanted to share with you, you know, having self-control, you know, the fruit of the Spirit, one of them, the fruit of the Spirit is having self-control. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23, which you can go and read in your Bible study time. But I want to read Proverbs 25, 28, and it says, like a city that is broken down and without walls is a man who has no self-control over his spirit. And you know, when the, when they're, they're broken, when there is a city without walls, it leaves it unprotected. You're just out in the open. And then you know what, when you have no self-control, you set yourself up for trouble. You set yourself up for trouble. And we see a lot of that today where people are responding emotionally and not responding in a godly response. And, and they don't think about it and they have a, a negative emotional emotional response and and that leads to trouble that leads to trouble but people that participate in evil doings they are headed for tribulation and trouble and they don't realize it but there's consequences for their actions and people often say that they have no self-control but you know that's not an accurate statement because if you have God in your life God has given given us the power and ability to control our thoughts our actions and our words we are not to try to control other people as we see today. So many people are trying to control other people, but we really should be concerned about controlling ourselves. And the only way that we can do that by controlling ourselves is through the Holy Spirit of God. He leads us and he guides us. And if we will allow that Holy Spirit to manifest in ourselves and in our lives, then we would not be able to try, we would not be so busy trying to control other people. And there's so many people out here trying to control what others do, their actions and their words, and they're so concerned about others. They even will go to the length of speaking about people's, their, their, their families members and their, their, um, skin tones and their character and, and their hair and all types of things and their makeup and, 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 pointing out blemishes on other people, but yet and still they have a lot of work that needs to be done within themselves. And so they're busy trying to, to control other people and how they look, but yet and still they have less than perfect lives themselves. They're not perfect in any kind of way because God says we're not perfect. And, and, and they're busy trying to control other people. And while they're doing that, they're out of control. And they have shown so many people their lack of self-control. And so many people see the lack of control, self-control. And while they're trying to control others and participating in all this evil stuff, they are out of control themselves and they fail to see their imperfections. But God doesn't show favoritism. He loves everyone the same. And, and that's important that we understand that he loves everybody the same. He's no respecter of person. And, and so if you have a tendency to want to control other people, understand that you can't. You cannot control other people, nor the circumstances in your life. But what you can do is ask God to help you control your emotions and yourself and how you respond and how you act and control your words that they are godly, wholesome words and they're not evil and, and abusive and vulgarity that comes out of your mouth, but ask God to, to help you and to, and to, and to instill some good, wholesome words and uh, uh, refer you to the, the, the spirit led life in Galatians chapter five and, and that you will be able to walk up right in Christ because it's easier to go to God and ask him to help you change your heart and your attitude.
Because the more we exercise self-control, the easier it will become to do it. And so when there's a circumstances that come up or even an unpleasant, painful situation, ask God to help you control it. Because we see today so many adverse situations and traumatic situations and loss of loved ones through, you know, uh, police brutality and killings and, and, and injustice and and people that we love, you know, that are, that have went, uh, that have, uh, passed away and people that are incarcerated, uh, unfairly and false allegations and against people and people using false words and attacking people and trying to hurt others and digging in their backgrounds and pulling up people's information and exposing and all types of things that, that you're trying to prove a point and, and try to correct people and but don't you know that you can't correct somebody without looking in the mirror at yourself and 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 seeing where you can change because when you participate in evil doings and 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 and, and, and things that are not of Christ and you're not practicing a godly response when you respond uh, to people, but you're using a negative emotional response, you're headed for perdition and, and you are going to face trials and tribulations when you are participating in evil doing and, and out of control and not showing any self-control about yourself. You can't change or correct anybody. You got to work on yourself. And, and and being able to pray right away when situations come up and asking God to help you control yourself with a godly response, not an emotional one. And to stop trying to control others through your misdeeds and evil doings because when most people try to control others, it's definitely not coming from a godly perspective. It's not coming from the word of God. It's not coming from a place of love and, and peace and harmony. It's coming from a place of lacking of self-control and a, a place of evilness. But don't you know that people are ne that participate in evil doing and they lack self-control don't you know that they, they're they going to face trials and tribulations and they're just bringing trouble up on themselves when they lack self-control? They're just only bringing trouble up on themselves. And, and so today's thought is, although we cannot control how we feel, we can certainly control how we behave. And remember, you can't control how someone else behaves but you can control how you behave. And so when people are acting out and they're being evil and speaking evil and they got all types of situations going on and they've done things that are not upright and pray for them. Respond with a godly response, not an emotional one. And while you are praying for them, pray for yourself. Because one of the things that's so important is if we are busy praying for ourselves and asking God to work on us and our heart to be a heart changer and a heart fixer and regulator and to change our attitudes and our perspective on things and our, and our thoughts and mindsets, guess what? Then we won't have time to try to change others. We won't have time to try to change others when we're busy working on ourselves. We won't have time to try to control others or change others. And we certainly can't control how others behave. But we can ask God to help us control how we behave, how we respond when words, thoughts, and actions. That's so important. And if you want to dig deeper into God's word, study 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 through 7, and Ecclesiastes 7, 9. And remember, remember, 
evildoers are never prepared for their downfall because they're not preparing for Christ. They're not preparing to put on the full coat of armor. They're not preparing to have a godly response. They're not preparing themselves for the protection of the Lord. You know what they're preparing? They're so busy participating in evil that they have no preparation for the trouble they're going to face the tribulations and the trials they're going to face. They are not preparing for those things because they're busy participating in evil stuff. And that's why they're never prepared for their downfall. So we can all prepare for the things that God will want us to prepare for and have self-control and to pray that God will work on us to be better people. And when we do that, we won't have time to talk about other people and to worry about other people and, 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 and trying to say things that don't align with the word of God. And I pray on today that you all will have a blessed day in the Lord. Peace in the streets.